Hello again, Tom from Wheeler Automotive here. Today, showing you this absolute beauty. Arguably the prettiest estate car ever made. It's a 2008 Alfa Romeo 159 Sport Wagon. So, such a good looking car. Uh, this is a 1.9 JTDM, the 16 valve version, um, which is not only nippy, but uh, also seriously frugal. It's very good on fuel. Um, we've done a fair amount to this mechanically to get it up to, uh, I would say, excellent mechanical condition. Doesn't have any faults with it now. Um, we've just put on a new cam belt. Um, we've had basically the majority of the suspension components on the near side front replaced. Um, I think it must have hit a pothole or something because all the bushes and everything on, on the near side front were knackered. It was really noisy. And we put a new wheel bearing on it as well. Um, it was dropping oil, which we eventually traced back to the um, oil filter housing. So it's got a new one of those on, um, which fixed that problem. And, and uh, it's got a massive service history, loads of invoices and stamps in the book. Um, really well looked after its whole life. There is a common fault on these, which is the... Uh, the gearbox uh, that some bearings in the gearbox go and become very noisy when you're driving along and this has had that work done i've got an invoice for over 2k um, so the gearbox was taken out and rebuilt with new bearings at 81,000 miles um, and whilst they had it out they put a new clutch in um, so yeah it's been very well cared for mechanically now superb um, cosmetically, she's got a few marks on her, but I think um, I think it's still really, really presentable. But yeah, let's uh, let's start off on the front end. So round on the near side front corner, not a lot. There's no scratches on the actual corner. There's a few stone chips, as you can see here, and there's some. I think what would have been lacquer peel that's been repaired there before all the lights work really well all nice and clear the front bumper does have a fair amount of stone chips on it now I'm guessing it's probably been painted before and that's why it's coming off probably a bit easier than um, you would hope but it wasn't bad enough for, uh, for us to warrant doing it again it's only when you get up close and personal you really notice it. Uh, probably the worst mark on the car is this one here. So it's just had a light touch on this offside front corner. That is that is ever so slightly dented in there as well. There's a little bit up here. This is the other thing these things suffer from is, is lacquer peel. Don't know whether they at the factory put the lacquer on quite as as well or I don't really understand why but there we go it's got these absolutely lovely 19 inch alloys which do have the odd mark on them um, this front tyre is nearly new loads of tread on that if you can see the brake discs aren't old zero lip on them and the pads and you can actually see them are really thick as well so loads of life in the front brakes, those discs aren't old at all, you can see there's very little corrosion on them. Round to the driver's door, which is in good nick I must say. Um, no real scratches on the driver's door at all. Uh, on, the, on this uh, offside rear door there is a bit of a scratch. You can just see it here, I don't know whether my phone will, yeah there we go. Just there, which is probably about... 30 centimeters long um, but again we focused on 
getting this car mechanically sorted rather than doing lots of paintwork to it. There is a very fine scuff on the, just in front of the rear wheel here. Again, it's not that bad. Um, another lovely alloy. This tire is, where's the wear indicator? That's about two mil from the wear indicator. So still loads of life in it. You can see the tread there, lots of tread on that. Rear disc, no lip on that either. So I don't think they're very old. And the rear pads are really thick. So all the brakes aren't old, I would say. It does have uh, tinted glass from the B pillar back, which is all really clean. It's got the roof bars as well. Round to the rear quarter, there's another little scuff. Just here, look, just on this corner. Again, quite faint, nothing serious. And the rear end, so pretty, look at it. Such a good looking car. So it does have a tow bar with electrics. Um, I haven't tested the electrics, but I'm assuming they will assume they work. I do have a, a light bar if uh, anyone wanted me to test that for them. Um, the bumper, I'm just trying to look, there's a couple of little, little scratch there and one here where I guess stuff's gone in and out of the, of the boot. Otherwise the actual boot lid is great. All the lights are nice and clear. The glass is nice and clear on the back there. It does have rear parking sensors, which work well. Um, the near side, rear quarter, doesn't have a doesn't have a mark on it. To be honest, looking at it here, um, there's an ever such faint, a faint little scratch there. Being very fussy there. This alloy, again, there's a bit of little bit of curbing, but nothing too serious. That tire is the same as the other side so i'm guessing these are put on at the same time you can see loads of tread on that brakes are the same lots of life in that near side rear door a couple of stone chips down here probably where this flares out this archway flares out a little bit so a few stones have just caught it on there but again nothing serious passengers all we've got another tiny bit of lack of peel here very small. Otherwise that door's nice and tidy. On the wing, you can see we've got another little bit there. Rest of the wing's pretty good. Couple of small stone chips, but again, nothing serious. And then the last 19 inch alloy. This tire, where's an indicator? This tire is probably got less than the other side actually so it's pretty much the same as the rears so I don't know whether the the front right was changed at some point discs and pads same as the other side so overall it does have the odd mark on it but uh, I still think it's in really really good condition and I think it looks superb let's show you inside um, let's unlock it, show you in the boot first. Boot's nice and clean. Um, there's no evidence of any dogs being here or anything like that. It's got this load cover, which all works really well. You can lift that up slide it in. It does have this guard that comes up here as well. Chucks on up there. But yeah, it's all present and correct. It's all, you know, there's a few marks on it, but I don't think the car's ever been smoked in. There's no weird smells in here at all. Um, but it has inside. These absolutely lovely black leather seats. Look at them. Which have the odd signs of wear etc but they're so comfortable got they're in embossed with the alpha logo i don't know who made them but 
that someone needs to go and shake their hand because they're so, so good. The fronts are even better. They're like these bucket seats. Um, they're electric in the front and heated and all of the electrics and heating works. Super comfortable. Um, all the door cards are good. Dash is all good. Just, uh, it's, it's now done, I think, 116 and a half thousand miles. Um, and it's, it's worn completely in line with that mileage. There's no excessive wear anywhere. I'll show you the driver's side. Again, we've got a nice clean door card, electric windows, front and rear, electric mirrors. Again, the excellent seats. You can see there's some small signs of wear on, on this, but uh, nothing's been holed or torn open. And these seats are so good. Really, 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 really nice. For a car at this value, it's, uh, it's amazing. So the, the driver's seat is also electric and it has memory as well, and is heated. And again, that works really well. Let's get in and we'll start her up. So inside we've got a double din stereo with sat nav, which is a Bose stereo, which sounds absolutely phenomenal. I've got these gauges up here. We've got turbo on the left, water temp in the middle and fuel gauge on, on the right hand side. I think that looks really smart. We've got uh, dual zone aircon. Um, I should really call it climate control. Yeah, let's start it up. Start, stops and drives perfectly. Uh, since changing the uh, wheel bearing, it's absolutely silent down the road. Really, really nice. I also really like... Oh, let's turn that off. I also really like this... Um, this steering wheel, it's really sporty. We've got uh, stereo controls there and there. Um, it's got uh, a really nice spec, yeah. All of the stereo stuff works, although I would say the, um, the sat nav is, well, it's just any 14 year old manufacturer fitted sat nav is, is pretty awful to be honest. It, it does work, but you're much better off using your phone to be fair. Uh, the aircon blows ice cold, and yeah, it's climate control because you can set it to what temperature you want, and it will uh, it will get you there no problem at all. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice place to be. It's got auto wipers, auto lights, cruise control. It's a really nice spec car. Um, the six-speed manual is super smooth. The clutch has only done thirty-six thousand miles, so it's got a hell of a lot of life left in it. Um, yeah, it's a lovely place to be. I think if whoever bought this, if they put an up-to-date doubled-in stereo in there with, uh, you know, Bluetooth for your phone, all that kind of stuff, then um, you've got a really nice car for not a lot of money that will that will last you a long time. Um, but yeah, let's get out and you can hear that lovely, lovely engine. Look at it, beauty, there it is, our 2008 Alpha 159.